you have a steering wheel and a motor and a track and a course and other people to compete with. There's no better sport than racing. My earliest memory of driving would be, uh, I'd say my first go-kart win. We started racing go-karts because my dad's dad built him a go-kart track at their farm when they were little kids and bought them racing go-karts. And they had all the neighbor farm kids around and they actually had a go-kart track when they were little. My first experience at the go-kart track was watching my cousin actual race. After seeing that one time, it was where's my go-kart. And then that's all it took for my dad to see my cousin race and then he got my brother and I a go-kart. And we always did it as a family. My, my cousins raced with us and I raced, all, my brother and my sister raced go-karts. So that was like one thing Saturday nights at Delaware Speedway, we, we went to the racetrack. I was so thrilled to be around the sport, the noise, the action. I was, I'd was i run around like crazy at the racetrack. You couldn't control me at the racetrack. I was a little hyperactive kid. And then you put me in the go-kart and focus me, tell me what I can and can't do, and that give me some sort of direction. It was just game on from there. It was always cool at the racetrack. Um, my brother and I, our first go-kart, we, we had to share. So he would go out for the first race and then I would bring my pad because the seat was a little too big for me and then my dad would pull the go-kart in and switch carburetors real quick and then I would go out, add some weight on the go-kart and then go out and race my race. And we did that every time we went racing. Even though I didn't get to meet him, I believe that comes from my grandfather. He raised 40 coon hounds. He was a farmer. He at one time owned more houses in Springville than any other farmer and he was an entrepreneur. And I, I believe my, he taught my dad and passed that confidence and motivation on, and my dad definitely transferred that to me. Um, he pushed me. As a kid, always just let me do whatever I wanted as and experiences wise and go for it, push my limits. Uh, and once he put me in a go-kart, it, it was obvious that's where I needed to be. I was racing go-karts up until about 16, 17 years old and I, I wanted to move up into cars. I wanted to be in a big car, see if I had the talent then. Um, problem was we didn't have any money to do that and what money we did have wasn't going to go into cars. Started off washing haulers, uh, loading up cars for the racetrack. I wasn't even allowed to touch the race cars my first couple weeks of racing. I wasn't allowed to even touch them. So I, I literally started from the bottom in racing. And eventually I worked my way up to cleaning the cars. I got to clean the cars and be the clean guy. And then I, since I was staying in the motor home, my owner's motor home for the first two weeks, I, the pit crew guys practiced after uh, work. So I just watched them for a couple days, me being athletic or whatever, watched them, jumped right on board with the pit crew guys and got hired the next day as a pit crew member as well. So that solidified my job for the rest of the summer. First time I got to be in a race car, it was the coolest experience of my life. It was, I was scared. So I had a borrowed truck and trailer and a borrowed race car. My dad and another crew chief, Tommy Bear, buddy of mine, and us three went to the racetrack. I was excited, overwhelmed, and ready. I knew the process, knew what was going on, but I didn't know what was gonna happen when I strapped in and tried to send it around that racetrack. So lo and behold, since we don't have any points, any money, I start fourth from last at Talladega again. So ended up passing 20 cars, finished 16th. Passing cars and racing is one of the coolest experiences of your life. To know that you're just a little bit better than somebody else is is awesome. It gives you such an adrenaline rush, you don't you can't get it anywhere else, especially going 190 mile an hour. That's when I really knew that I could drive. There was no, after that, there was no doubt that that's where I needed to be and belong. When you grow up with an older sibling, two older siblings that are awesome, you have no fear. You have, you can rely on them, you can, bounce ideas off them if they're crazy or not. They'll tell you if you're acting stupid or not, or they'll smack you in the head. There's just a lot of things that are beneficial to having awesome older brothers and sisters. My brother was killed in a vehicle truck accident with his best friend. I was so young, I didn't know what loss was until he just 
never came back. And you don't realize when you look up to somebody every day, all day, and then they're gone, how much that affects you and how much that takes away your confidence, especially as a brother. So my sister and I really bonded together and we attached yourself, ourselves to each other after he passed. We were at that age where it made a huge difference in your life. But I lost my sister May 20th. And that day sucked. That was, that was different than losing my brother, for sure. My, uh, my sister and I formed a bond after losing my brother that was pretty, pretty tight. We trusted one another. It was just, that was tough. I feel like racing was the one thing that brought us together. So when I'm in the car, in my helmet, I could talk to them and they're cool. They know what's going on. They both raced. There's not any, uh, I don't feel any resentment that I went back into racing. I don't feel like they would either. I, I know they'd be proud of me. I tried not going into racing. I tried. Um, it just didn't work. The reason why I'm being put through this is because well, there's a bigger purpose somewhere else. And I'm strong enough to do it. Don't look like it right now, but I can take it. <laughs> so, and that's what I believe. That's why I'm here. I was shut down on becoming any kind of professional car driver after I lost my brother and sister in cars. There's no, you don't get that option after you lose one of your siblings in a car accident let alone both your siblings. Right now, I, I feel like um, I'm ready to, to handle a lot more. I, I've been through a lot. I've dealt with the loss of both my brother and sister. I've lost my best friend. I've lost uh, a lot. And, and all this loss, you know, you don't, if you don't take these losses, and if you don't build from them, if you don't try to push that energy to something good, it's gonna kill you. And you have to, you have to work hard and it just it doesn't work if you don't. I know I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if I didn't experience my losses. Not saying that I want them or anything like that, but it's made me the person who I am today. I've made so many sacrifices. I've done so much work. I'm not gonna give up. I'm, I'm, I'm at the level where I need funding to go racing. I need a company to back me, to believe in me, to say, this kid has what it takes. He has a proven track record and he's ready to go. And all, it all it's gonna take is one or two companies to believe in me and to show them that I can compete and present myself well enough and that I'm worth it. I was meant to be a race car driver.